Today's decision was extremely difficult. I have three beautiful, very unique girls standing in front of me. But I only have two photographs in my hands. These pictures represent the two girls who will compete on the catwalk to become Australia's next top model. Ebony. Congratulations, you're a finalist. Thank you very much, guys. That's awesome. Simone and Jessica, please step forward. If I don't call your name, you must immediately return back to the house, pack your belongings, and make your way home. Simone, you're beautiful, but over the weeks, we've had concerns if you have the inner diva to impress the fashion elite of this industry. Jess, you're sophisticated and edgy, but when you appear in a magazine, you need for people to be able to relate to you. In the short time we have left, the judges and I feel only one of you will be able to get it together. The girl who's going into the final round Congratulations, it's on the range of becoming Australia's next top one. Good job, honey. Easy to do that. Oh, honey, don't cry. Thanks, Simone. Thank you, girl. The judges maybe knew I didn't want it as much as the other girls. I didn't necessarily think Jess would come this far. I knew she'd be the dark horse in the competition. Ebony, I like can you're the best girl I've ever met. And I left your prezies on your bed. So I left Ebony this top because I knew she wore it out once and she really liked it. Joe Ferguson suggested to be in this dress. So this is for Jess. Ebony deserves to win. I was really, really emotional because I was sort of convinced that I was going to go home today. I'm really excited. <laughs> Give me a goddamn stirrup. So Just cheers to being the last two. I wanted um, Jess to go. I'm very happy being in the top two with Ebony. She's a great girl and we get along really well. Hi, darling. Hey, Mum. Hi, how are you? Yeah, good. I'm through. Oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> I'm so excited. I'm going to the top two. Yeah. <laughs> Isn't that... Oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. And um, basically they said, um, you know, they love it that I'm really down to earth. But um, I've got to sort of be more specific. What is it? Persistic, sophisticated. The morning after elimination, when Simone was eliminated, I woke up and it was just Jessica and I in the house. It's just Ebony and I, and if Ebony and I aren't talking, there's just this deathly silence throughout the house. Good morning. Hello. Hello. What's happening? We're actually stoked to see her because we um, had no um, no idea that Eric was coming to see us. Any um, pre-wedding night nerves? It's still hard to believe that I'm like in the final two in this competition. Yeah. Because in uh, high school and college, I was sort of the ugly one. Like I never really got that much attention from boys, and I was heavily teased in primary school. I just can't believe. Like I remember being on the bus and thinking that I didn't have a chance in being in the final two. So I have a little treat for you. Okay. Great. Mm hmm. You're gonna need to get hacking. Why? Because. There'll be a limo arriving shortly. Really? Taking you to stay tonight in a luxury penthouse suite at the Hilton. Just so that you can get into the mood before the big show tonight. Really? Oh, wow. Jess and I just dropped, you know, to the balcony floor, basically. Grab your bags. Go, go, go. Make us proud tonight. Thanks, Eric. Okay. 
cutting the apron strings. <laughs> I think I'm gonna need a bit of help with my bag. I don't think I've ever been so excited in my life. Or is that a lie? No, I think this is the most excited I've ever been. I just wish all my friends could be here. That's the only thing that can make it better. Mm. <gasps> wow. When we walked into our room at the Hilton, I was gobsmacked and sort of blown out. And I think Jessica was as well. Just we were spinning out at the luxury, you know, luxurious apartment that we got given. We've got a spa! Oh my god! With a TV and a view! Oh my god! 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 This is really rock star, so I'll check that out. Ebony, tonight, champagne, you, me, the spa. Uh huh. Oh, God. Hello, ladies. Hello. Special delivery. Open up for you. Oh, she's evil. Oh, my God. I've never seen so many chocolates. Oh, my God. She's so evil. Australia's top model should arrive to every show in style. Make your way downstairs. We went down to Circular Quay, um, where we boarded a water taxi. I was really excited because, I don't know, I'd never done a show before. Thank you, thanks for the ride. There was Michael Lazzolini waiting for us on the dock. Mwah. Congratulations. Thank you. Final two. We're at Cargo Bar, one of Sydney's coolest night spots. Yep. Where tonight you'll be parading clothes by some of Sydney's hottest designers to the fashion elite of Sydney. The judges are going to be inside as well, so make it count. Give it everything you've got. Own that runway. This is the last thing that we're going to be judged on. This is sort of the uh, icing on the cake, basically, for the competition. Don't let tonight be the only reason you won't win this competition. Make it the reason you won it. Basically, the thing he had to say was, uh, to us was, uh, don't screw up. Because, you know, it's not just a mock-up, it's the real deal. Basically, the first thing that we saw was the catwalk. OK, and this is the runway. Okay. Oh, wow! Cool. That's awesome. He told us to put our shoes on, he wants us to do a walk. Is there any particular way? Well, They're going to have a choreographer who's going to show you where they want you to walk, but just get used to it. You both got good walkies now. Ebony's walk had really improved. And the only thing I really felt like I had up on her was my walk, and it had really improved, so obviously I was feeling a bit like, OK, I've got to up the ante here. I don't know when she'd been practising, but she obviously had. When I win... Oh, get stuffed, Ebony. I'm going to push you off that catwalk. It was strange because instantly at rehearsal, Ebony and I went from being quite close to not at all... There was no animosity, but we both realised we had to do our own thing and couldn't concentrate on each other. Tension like between us really, really changed. We sort of had our distance the whole time and we kept very quiet to ourselves. And I wish her all the best. Just a little bit stressful because this was the first rehearsal, you know, dress and show rehearsal. And I was like, oh fuck, if it's going to be like this tonight, you know, I don't want to fuck this up because this is my last chance, basically. Yeah, I think I let my nerves take over a little bit too much and I was stressing out a bit. Doing it with other models that have been doing it for ages, I think I was thinking about things too much and I wasn't concentrating on um, what I was doing myself. It's just all fucked up. Coming up, all Ebony and Jessica's hard work comes down to this one moment. Who has what it takes to be Australia's next top model?